Hey YouTube boxing fans, folks, this is Boxing Analysis and Predictions, and I'm back again with a new video. And today we'll be playing Max Kellerman interview with uh, Kovalev and Stevenson jumped on the ring and the drama that went all around that stuff and the script and all. So we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna play the clip for you and we're gonna go over some pointers in there. So uh here we go. After every one of your fights nowadays, you like rematches? Uh, no, I don't like very much, but uh, this uh, was a personal fight uh, because uh, Pascal is a uh, special person. What, what, how is he a special person? Uh, I mean um, that he is uh, uh, not polite with anybody around him and don't respect uh, fighters or and, uh, everybody don't respect. Believe me, uh, until, uh, until I'm in Montreal, everybody said me, like, kick his ass. It did seem to us that you made good on your promise before the... What he's talking about it here is the remark that Pascal called Kovalev a racist. That's what he's talking about. Fight ...to punish him during the fight for some of the things he said. You would have him cornered and then you would let him out of the corner to extend the fight. Is that in fact what you were doing? Were you punishing him intentionally and extending the fight? Yes, I would, I would uh, fight more rounds and uh, uh, make him more pain. Punish him more. He stopped the... Oh. It was obvious to all of us what he was doing. I mean, he wanted to keep Pascal in there so he can inflict as much punishment as he could. He wanted to damage him for good. That was uh, the intention here. I made a video, my prediction video, right before the fight. And I stated all this stuff. And I mentioned in there that this fight is very personal to Kovalov and his trainer. Okay, and they're going to go after Pascal. And the referee needs to pay strict attention to this. And he, the referee didn't do that. Lucky for, uh, luckily, uh, Freddie Roach realized what was happening and uh, stopped the fight. Stop fight before the eighth round. He, he lost the bet, 50,000. <laughs> so even now. The bet that they had is Kovalov, if, if Kovalov stops Pascal before 8, then he gets $50,000. And uh, Kovalov won the bet. Now, after that beating, you still have a bad feeling about your opponent. Yes, I don't respect him at all. And never. This is a bad man, folks. You don't want to be in the ring with Kovalov. It, he means bad intentions. So, uh, this guy's no joke. He, he not excused uh, in front of me. When you say things like that, like you punished him intentionally, do you think that endears you to boxing fans? Do you think it turns some fans off? How do you think the public receives that? Uh, you know, uh... uh not a good question at all. Uh, I punished, uh... Not good person, and everybody understand who is who, and that's it. Not any comments. Andre Ward spoke to us tonight, said that a fight with you is not if, but when. What are your thoughts about fighting Andre Ward? Either in they are already promoting Andre Ward versus Kovalev. Uh, this fight is going to happen uh, the end of the year if not early uh, 2017. This fight is going to be on pay-per-view HBO. The end of this year or soon? Uh, yeah, I'm very happy if this fight uh, will happen and uh, just uh, take your time. In the meantime, they keep lining up opponents for you and you keep knocking them out. Between now and Andre Ward, is there anyone you're interested in getting in the ring with? Uh, sure, I want to um, unify all four titles. I would like to fight Adonis Chickenson. Adonis Chickenson, who is also here ringside. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay. Pascal just uh, thanked Kovalov for a good fight, and uh, they shook hands. Hey! That's me, this is the big... The 
Stevenson stormed into the ring and uh, he's pu pushing people around and you know he's uh, it, 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 it's all act folks and you know he's acting like he, he wants to fight but I, I don't see it happening His bodyguards are holding him back. It, it just looks to me that it's, it's so scripted and not real. All right, Adonis Stevenson, the lineal champion, is in the ring, ostensibly trying to get at Sergey Kovalev, the consensus light heavyweight champion of the world. that's about it folks uh let me know your thoughts um uh, i made a video about uh, the potential fighters that are uh, that could cause some that would be competitive fight against kovalov so if you can check those and uh who do you want to see kovalov fight next uh the options are very limited here i mean ward is out of the question because he's fighting him uh, down the road so Stevenson is with Al Heyman. That's that's a no. So you got Fanfara maybe, and uh, Sullivan Barrera is fighting Ward soon. The only other option I see is uh, Arthur Berbiev. So uh, that fight would be would be would be really really good because Berbiev beat Kovalov in the amateur in amateurs twice. So I'd like to see that fight. Berbiev is a hard hitter, and uh, he's very very strong. And those two don't like each other. So uh, it would be very interesting to see what happens. So that's about it, folks. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. And till then, thank you. Bye.